Fun fact. In 2017, Mike Edgett discovered something strange about the KFC Twitter account. They only follow 11 people. Seven random people named Herb and four of the Spice Girls, or 11 herbs and spices. Needing to share his discovery with the world, Mike tweeted this out and it quickly went viral. KFC was so pleased that someone had finally found this Easter egg that they sent Mike a congratulatory gift. A package soon arrived at Mike's door that contained this incredible painting of Mike riding Colonel Sanders back through a scenic forest with a chicken drumstick in his hand. The package also included a letter from Colonel Sanders that begins with, I owe you a Kentucky Fried Thank You, and ends with, you're as crispy as they come. And the package also included 52 $5 KFC gift cards. KFC also added Mike on LinkedIn and endorsed his social networking skills. Mike hung the painting of him and the Colonel in his living room and says he cries a few tears of joy every time he looks at it. That's epic, bro. For KFC on LinkedIn to come out and say that on his social media skills, that's a lot of fucking money right there. You want a really good upgrade to your life? Do you want a really good raise? Stop spending so much money on food and learn to cook. That is the best way to get a raise. You don't have to ask anybody for it. You just have to cook for yourself. Best thing you can do is get an Instant Pot. Instant Pot is awesome as shit. They're like 40 to 60 bucks, somewhere in there. They're highly accessible, especially for people if you have any physical disabilities or anything like that. Instant Pots are awesome for this. You just put a bunch of stuff into the Instant Pot, you hit go, and you'll walk away. It's phenomenal for that. What are your go-to meals? I really like making jambalaya recently because you can just take everything and you put it in the Instant Pot and you just click it and you're like, cool, I'm going to have jambalaya in like six hours. I would do that. That's kind of cool. What do you mean still too hard for me? How would that still be too hard for me? I put a bunch of stuff in it. I, I click go and I walk away like he said. Next. I, what, are you kidding? Real talk. If you get an instant pot, the easiest thing to do is put a big hunk of meat, some veggies and potatoes, and some beef stock and seasoning, and press go. You don't even need to chop the veggies technically. See? That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to get some veggies, potatoes, some beef stock, and some seasoning. Next! What a holy shit! Well, it is a button you need to push on time. And be on time for. Yep, he's doomed. He paid subs today. He'll pay subs for that. My dad already thinks so low of me. Alright, I think you guys think even lower. Why the fuck did his head just explode? Okay. Uh... 73 is it a code 7324 7324 someone in the chat write that down please chat write it down 7324-6889-7777 Dave 6969-5665-7355-608 Penis Boobies 666 Oh my god it's too long Deb is a whore you get the community oh you deserve, God. I suppose. That's you guys. That's amazing. Oh, that was so funny. So people are always asking me, how do I just draw without any, like, uh, lines in front of it? Or I don't know. They're asking, like, how do I not make mistakes? And when you set out to just let things unfold, there's no set path. So I really can't make a mistake. I just go where I go. And in the words of my Uncle John, I would say, uh, you can't be lost if you don't know where you're going. Had rating. You missed the end. You're fucking lost. You have no idea where you're going. The fewer words a magic sword's name has, the more dangerous it is. You don't want to be on the wrong end of Dark King Grootmore's Edge of Annihilation, don't get me wrong. But you for sure don't want to be on the wrong end of something called the Throngler. I'm free. I wish this was me. I'm free! Well, I don't wish that was me. I... Yo, dude! Adolf Hitler. There he is. down. 
Now they get the hell out of here before they put the whole place in lockdown. What game is that? Maybe we play tomorrow. We'll see. Husbands do this thing where they just leave a cup right by the sink. And I would think things to myself like, this is weaponized incompetence. He's doing this on purpose to make me clean up after him. He's not putting <laughs> it in the dishwasher. He's not putting it in the sink. It's like a declaration that he can do whatever he wants and I just have to deal with it. It's sick. He's so, he's so torturous to me. And then there was one day that I was just at home kind of cleaning up some things by myself and I drank the last of my water and I just kind of in my head placed it down and I was like I'm just gonna put it here because it's kind of like you know if I'm done with it I can just it's right next to the dishwasher I can put it there and if I'm not done with it it's right next to the sink so I can get more water <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and that was when I realized my husband is not out to get me. He's just a genius. <laughs> it's very different things. That went completely not how I thought it was going to go. I do that. So I'm a genius, guys. We all do. Okay, so we're all fucking cheap. Well, well. Loving cars so much and start going to the car meets. About a year ago, I heard that there was a car meet nearby. So I decided to go and see what was so interesting that it attracted hundreds of people. A friend told me there was cheap beer and cheap food, so that was the main reason I went. But when I got there, I saw hundreds of cars that you don't see every day. I fell in love immediately. The organizer recognized me and gave me a VIP pass so I could stand in the front rows. I can tell you, Tony. Yeah, there were cars. Someone must extinguish thy flame. Imagine it's like Melania. What the fuck? No! No, no, no! Oh, that's crazy. I should do that one day. You got guys jumping over Taco. Aaron Gordon jumped over Taco Fall. Matt McClung jumped over Shaq. Jalen Bryan jumped over Casanet in a seat. What am I supposed to do with that, Stephen A? The man's already three foot tall. You put him in a chair 91, 91, 5. You said it! Fuck no! I didn't know you said the same you said it! Fuck you! No, 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 no! <laughs> Tires are black, why is the Michelin man white? Turns out, tires weren't always black. Before 1912, tires were a shade of white or light beige. Carbon was later added to make them black and stronger. And the Michelin man's real name, Bibendum, or Bib for short. It comes from the Latin phrase, Nugesta Bibendum, meaning now is the time to drink. See, when he debuted in 1898, Bib started out as a tubby, cigar-smoking mascot, often holding up a goblet full of dangerous obstacles like glass and nails. The idea being, Michelin tires could handle anything. Over the years, Bibendum went from creepy, mummy-like figure to lovable, puffy mascot. He sobered up, ditched the smoking and drinking, and became an athletic, family-friendly icon. That's kind of cool. Did not know that. Here's the little cat. Oh, are you telling about him? Well, yeah, they were asking about him. Oh, yeah, like some of them saw him last night. Oh. <sighs> yep, it's a pretty fucked up looking dog. <laughs> so cute. I gave him a booty bath. Well, don't, okay, don't just like teabag the camera. <laughs> I mean, if it's in hand. <laughs> Since he's got a clean booty, you want to hold, hold him with a towel? Yep. Aww. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, it's pretty adorable. That is so cute. Are you home now? Did you remember to roast the chicken? Bald, skinny leg, can't fly, uh, weird eyes, seven roommates, no bitches, can't fly, <laughs> doesn't look fly, me I'm fly as hell, weird pants, eggs as far as the eye can see, but no rooster, huh, how'd that work out, no bitches, her looking more like a chicken parm than a chicken, better scramble for a fold you like an omelet, yeah, bald head ass. Uh... I'm gonna find out how many of you, all you do is keep pointing at me. Hmm. Huh. Why does this seem familiar? <laughs> Guys, the gnome shit is like so old! Have you heard of Samuel J. Seymour? This guy appeared on I've Got a Secret in 1956. It was a televised game show, and his secret was that he was literally in attendance at Ford's Theater when Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. 
The U.S. Civil War and Brian Cranston both existed within this guy's lifetime. But sometimes history can be pretty big, like when it comes to the Appalachian Mountains. They're not as tall or impressive as the Rockies or the Himalayas, but that's because the Appalachian Mountains are so old, they have been eroding longer than the Rockies or the Himalayas have even existed. They and the Scottish Highlands only have different names because the central Pangaea Mountains were ripped apart. Okay, the Appalachian Mountains are so old, when they formed, animals did not yet walk on land. Okay, the Appalachian Mountains are older than trees. They have been around for so long that when they formed, the planet Saturn didn't even have rings yet. And yet, they are still here for us to enjoy. All I got from that is like when the continents broke up and he was wearing a Bart Simpson shirt and I couldn't stop looking at it. It was a pretty sick shirt. Next! That's all I got. And still younger than next Pepe Point. Ah. You. This is me. Make sure to keep your body a completely rigid segment. Go all the way down to gently touch your chest to the ground. I did 20 of those. I did 20 of them last time. Brave boy. That was Mappy. Wait, that's Pikachu. What the fuck? Kung Fu Pokichu. <laughs> is this like a knockoff? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Barf boy. <laughs> Does this not look like the beginning of Super Mario like the very first level of Super Mario World. Kind of, don't say no instantly. Look, it kind of does if you squint, guys. Here, right here, this, that is what I'm talking about. Look. All right, fellas, which one you picking? All right, so if this is the setup here, in this situation, I'm peeing right in the middle. Any other answer is the wrong answer. I go in the middle, nobody's on your sides. This one's also pretty easy. This one, I'm going all the way to the right. Gonna go all the way to the right, yep. only because everywhere else you got someone next to you. That's a clear, obvious one. This was a little bit- Ooh, this one's difficult. I'm gonna go right there. Right there, you got one space there. To your left, right in the middle, right here where I'm circling is where I'm gonna go. A little more difficult, but I think that there's one correct answer here, and it's this one right here, yep. only because if you go here, you got two people on your left. Yep. This one, you only have one person on your right. There's a clear answer in the middle. Uh, that's, that's easy answer right one. in the middle. Uh, for this, uh, for this. I'm going all the way to the right, the very last one. Unless it's like the kids one, you know, that's like all the way super to the ground and the one to the left of it. This one's again pretty easy. Middle, middle one. Isn't this the same as the first one? Uh, this one has two correct Ooh. answers. All right. In this case, I'm probably going to the right or all the way to the left. Um, it's kind of left hand, right hand, whatever you yep. kind of prefer. Um, it's going to go more for... The right is personal. I'm more of a right, more right guy. This one, um, I'm gonna go right here. That's where I'm gonna pee. Right here on this one. Uh, easily the one on the right here. Oh. Get out of me. Well done. Let me know how you did. Look at that! That is the one time I think I've got a perfect score in anything on this stream. That is pathetic. Next! But why does it matter which one you go to? When us guys are peeing, you gotta look, you wanna look straight, so you don't wanna be moving your head. So the more space you have, it means no one's next to you. So you wanna be like kind of in your own element. Now where all of those rules are thrown out the window, really it doesn't matter where you go, is if you're at the urinal that has the like things up, the, the, the rules still apply, but you could kind of just, and if it's like a sporting event where it's just packed out, all the rules are out the window too. Every guy there has been drinking beer and everything. They just want to piss and get the fuck out. They do not care. It's just like, go, go, just hurry up. Cause there's a ton of dudes waiting like, yo, just keep it moving, bro. We don't care. Go, go, go. The drinks. Hello, I want to play a game. Three liquids in the fridge. Has the next relaxative. Will you die of thirst or will you face your fears and destroy your asshole? Let the games begin. What the heck did you do this? I have a day coming over today. It's just a joke. Lighten up, bro. So there's no laxatives. I didn't say that Kevin, if you F up my date again, I'm gonna smash your Xbox. And yes, that entire sentence is a double entendre. Please stop watching those rap lyric breaks. No one types in a text message, yes, that was a double entendre. Bro, and if my friend tried to tell me and text me back that it was a double entendre, it would come out like that was a double Santander. I have seen a few of these and every single one sucks besides the one I saw and I thought oh my god This is like really cool. This is gonna be amazing and they have the rest of them have sucked 
But the one I watched was really good with the, the kid who was selling his Switch to the single mom. That one was good. Super Ass. Jinrui no Kokyo. Jiyu to. Hanye. Daga Jiyu ni wa tai ka mo. Sonna! Nante koto da! Yamero! Da. Jiyu ni a tai suru chikara to yuki ga aru koto o sekai ni. Okay, that's pretty cool. That does go hard.